Hi friends, good day. Today, let us try to understand about what is price to sales ratio, understanding PS ratio, advantages and disadvantages of PS ratio through this video. According to Dave Ramsey, I believe that through knowledge and discipline, financial peace is possible for all of us. Before we go in, please subscribe for more videos. Click the bell icon for updates. What is price to sales ratio? The price to sales ratio compares the price of a share to the revenue per share. This ratio is usually used for valuation of the shares. This formula is used to measure the total value that the investor is willing to pay for the company's stock relative to the total revenue generated by the business. Price to sales ratio is also called as sales multiple or the revenue multiple. It takes into account the past performance of the company for valuation of its shares. The ratio is generally calculated over the designated or the trailing 12 months unless stated otherwise. The PS ratio is calculated either by dividing the company's market capitalization by its total sales over a designated period, which is usually 12 months, or on a per share basis by dividing the stock price by sales per share. Price to sales ratio is equal to market capitalization divided by sales revenue. Market capitalization is calculated by multiplying the market price per share by the total number of equity shares. Sales revenue can be found from the income statement. PS can also be calculated by the formulae. PS ratio is equal to price per share divided by revenue per share. Price per share is available from the stock market sources, whereas the revenue per share can be calculated by dividing the revenue from the income statement by the total number of shares. This ratio is key analysis and valuation tool for investors and analysts. It shows how much investors are willing to pay per rupee of sales. Price to sales ratio can vary substantially from industry to industry or sector to sector. Therefore, it is better used for comparing the companies that are within the same industry or sector. Now let's try to understand about PS ratio. For example, if the annual sale of a company in certain financial year is 100 crore, while there are 10 crore shares on this company in the market and the stock is trading at rupees 100, the PS ratio would be calculated as annual sales per share equal to 100 crore divided by 10 crore, which is equal to 10. PS ratio is equal to 100 divided by 10, which is equal to 10. So this means that for every rupee earned by the company in sales, market is ready to pay rupees 10 currently. Generally, the lower the ratio, better it is, and it might indicate undervaluation of a company. A lower the PS ratio, is usually considered to be a better investment between the investors have to pay less money for each unit of sales. A company's stock price may increase in anticipation of recent revenue expected, leading to a high PS ratio in companies with its peers, which are the other companies in the same sector. The PS ratio should not be seen in isolation and all the other parameters of the stock should be analyzed before buying it. PS ratio is more helpful in evaluating early stage companies as the raise in revenue can be substantial in early stages. This ratio is usually calculated for the loss making companies because price to earnings ratio cannot be calculated for such companies. Now let's look into the advantages. Since the sales revenue is always positive, the price to sales ratio is meaningful even firm is in loss or distress. 
sales revenue is not easy to manipulate as EPS and book value which are significantly affected by accounting conversation. PS ratio is not as volatile as PE multiple. For startup companies, PS is an appropriate measure. However, the PE may be misleading. It is also a valuable tool for cyclical or mature industries. Now let's look into the disadvantages. Revenue per share does not give us the whole picture because it does not capture the effect of a company's cost structure and capital structure. That is just generating high revenue is not enough because investors worry about net addition to their wealth which is achieved only when the revenue translates to net income. The numerator in the PS ratio that is the stock price is affected by the capital structure whereas the denominator does not reflect the impact of financing which creates a potential disconnect between two variables. Even though the PS is less prone to manipulation, it is not totally immune to manipulation. The revenue recognition policies may be thoroughly studied to make sure revenue is not overstated or understated in a period. Well, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and do share.